think the personality traits you need to be a breeder are probably creativity, um, having a long-term vision, and not being easily discouraged. I'm naturally very curious and I like to tinker with things and it's just like anything else. I mean you can spend, you can devote yourself to learning about your crop, understanding how it works. Another aspect is problem solving. The growers have issues that they deal with every day that are core to their business and I get to be a part of swooping in and helping them. I mean it, to them it looks like swooping. To me it's 10 years of hard work, right? And that's rewarding, you know, that's a lot of fun. You, you see a problem, you probably take 10 different approaches and hopefully one of them works and you're able to offer a solution. There is a, a, a lot of data generated. Molecular marker data, genetic data, I mean phenotypic data, you know, fruit size, shape, color, texture, aroma, sugar levels, firmness of the flesh, you name it. We collect data on it and managing all that and using it, you know, we have a, a, a lot of traits that are important and really you're looking for the melon that's going to meet the needs of the grower and the consumer. Collaborating is, is really critical in getting trials out and evaluated and getting input from our customers. I'm a big believer in doing early trials, hybrid trials, with growers instead of our, on our own farm. I feel like we get the best look at our material with the grower in the actual environment that they're going to be growing it in in their commercial field. I mean, that's how you really understand their needs and figure out what's working and what's not. We've really focused on trying to source different types of melons from around the world, from other breeding programs also, to bring diversity to the U.S. market, to create options for growing new categories and segments. The Golden Honeydews are an example. Melorange is an example. We have some beautiful Gallia products coming from Spain that, I mean, just amazing flavors that U.S. consumers aren't used to, beautiful different kind of looks and concepts, and things that are really well agronomically adapted here. I see a lot of opportunity to kind of develop specialties here in the U.S. I'm Jeff Mills, and I'm breeding melons for a better generation.